I, I used to love street and I'd love my favorite like ledge street spot would be a curved ledge. Like there's nothing better than feeling like a curved ledge, man. Like Austin, you came. And yeah, the marble it. ledge, that marble ledge, That's right? And you just get on and you just ride it out. Hey, that like, marble ledge that we skated together in the rain that day. Like that was yeah. so fun to get to skate that. Sick, huh? Yeah. That's so exactly what you're talking ledge. about. Yeah. Curved ledges are, are, are my favorite, but also like transition, like a nice, um, I don't know, like a, a kind of like a, a transfer. I love doing transfers if they're like a, a quarter to a bank or something, but also a mega ramp, man. But Ooh, that is the best a good one. ever. Yeah. The mega ramp. There's literally, it's, it's dreamy, man. You skated the nitro up, one, right? Yeah. I said, I did like the nitro tour for a bit. Yeah. yeah. And then also the nitro world games. Um, oh yeah. Was that like before or after or during like half his time? Obviously not before, but was like during oh, or after? The way it came about, I was actually just like, had a couple of beers and I knew Haffy was in Australia and he, and I just wrote to him and I just go, Oi Haffy, I heard you need an, an, another person to help you for the Nitro Circus. And he wrote back like instantly and he goes, what actually I do, man, are you here? Cause I can't, I've got like a, um, a, he had like a wedding that he had to go to. He was yeah. like, can you do my show for me? No like, way, dude. So, so you're just a couple of beers in being cheeky and he's just like, well, I do actually, yeah, I do. Dude, and I, I, no I'd, never hit one. I'd, I'd never hit one. Oh, I hit the one at Woodward, literally two or three jumps. And that was the only time I've ever done it. And that's got a back, like a flat. Do you hit the one at Woodward? That, that's pretty good because I think that's the biggest one in the world, actually. So yeah, I did a good start. Before, but like, it was like, but I still did like, I gapped it and I was like, sick, I just want to flatty it. And so second try, I just went flat spin. Like I was just in the zone and it was just at, like- At Woodward, you flattied that one? Yeah. And I also Oof. came out of the top of the ramp and Miguel was like, and so I, I didn't realize how fast I was going and then came out the quarter pipe just to land on the flat. But I didn't realize, and I went like 10 feet out of the quarter pipe. I was going so quick and then put my feet through the top deck, like up to here. I nearly no. fell through. Whoa. Right yeah, and the girl's like, you're the first person to do that. And I was like, sick. You went through <laughs> up to here? Yeah, I went through the whole, the, the landing. And he was like, holy shit, okay, we're going to have to replace that. Like, what? Oh, my God. Thank, thank yeah. God. I was thinking, man, you, you got lucky it wasn't like a cartoon thing where you just like go straight through like, yeah. to the bottom. <laughs> and his hat stays then, in the air, then it drops after. Oh, <laughs> yeah. But then Probably I started getting night, comfortable man. with airing it. like, And so I was airing it and I was drifting the airs and like, I was stuck because I can skate vert all right. And I reckon I was getting, you know, maybe 10 feet air. And I started to drift these airs and I nearly, I nearly drifted off the whole, the whole ramp. Oh like you don't God. realize how fast you're going. And this was the first time doing it. And it's like monkey see monkey do. I just got thrown in the deep end. I was like, I'm going to send it. But yeah, you don't realize. If you air off, off, that's like 40 feet. To yeah. the Dude, floor. Yeah, so I, I, I was going. These, oh these, my God. I was drifting the edge like so far, and one I landed like maybe this far from the edge as I came down. I was like, "Oh my God!" Like I would have died. For no, sure. it's deadly. Oh my. Yeah. So so wait. So 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 then Happy says, "Yeah, so happy, uh, yeah. yeah." So we need somebody. Yeah, and I was like, "Sick man, all right, sign me up." And he goes, "Okay, cool. I'll just talk to my boss, get you in bo on board." And man. I got thrown into the deep end with this and then basically got flown to Dubbo, um, which is in rural Australia for the first Nitro Circus tour of mm -hmm. that year. And then I, I was like, I, didn't, I hadn't hit the gap with a, a drop in the, in the middle or anything. And I called Huffin and I was just like, okay, mate, this is hectic. This thing is huge. And he's like, you'll be fine, man, but they might make you, um, like try and jump into the Zorb and push and go off the Mega Ramp in a shopping trip. Oh yeah, God. He's like, yeah, shopping you'll be cart. fine, dude. You really got yourself into it. Dude, messaging like, him on a couple man, of I beers, eh? I did not sign myself up for that. <laughs> <laughs> they probably won't get you to do it anyway because it's the first time. And if you've never hit the ramp, they, they, would, they wouldn't get you to do it. And I was like, okay. And then th during the show, <laughs> They're just like, okay, CJ, get up here. And they're on the, on the, the walkie talkie kind of thing. I'm at the top of the ramp. There is a shopping trolley up there. And they're like, okay, CJ, you ready? You just gap it with the shopping trolley. And I went, <laughs> what? like, you're joking. And he's like, yeah, yeah. Can you, you ready to go? And they're like, then they announce it. And this is like to 15,000 people. Oh my oh, God. On a, with the shopping trolley. I was like, 
what the fuck? And I was just, <laughs> I couldn't pull out at that stage. And yeah. so I was like, I grab the shopping trolley and I go, I fucking hate you guys. And just <laughs> <laughs> and literally, I, and Huffy goes, if you do, just don't push the shopping trolley away before you leave the ramp, right? Because if I do that, then I, and then I lose speed and then I don't clear the 50 foot gap. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, my God. And by the way, these are shopping trolley wheels as well. You know how yeah. shit shopping trolley wheels are. I was going to ask that, like, if they did anything to, like, make the wheels better, if they were just standard... <laughs> The two at the front were like proper wheels, but the mm -hmm. back one was still shit drop shopping trolley wheels. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's funny and that you got like, yeah, like you banging it like going brrr, like that. You got but into the go ahead. The good thing is I um I I I, I did what Happy said. I launched off it and then I, in the air I went, I pushed the shopping trolley, and the shopping trolley did a perfect backflip <laughs> and landed and rolled away, man. Oh, so shit. the shopping trolley did a perfect backflip and rolled away. Yeah, in front, it, it did a backflip like in front of you, and then went yeah, down. And you so went I, over I, it. Yeah, I, as I'm in the air, I pushed it, and it the shopping trolley. These things are heavy as fuck. Man. Yeah, it did a perfect backflip and landed, and I landed behind it, like, and it rolled away. And I was just like, "Oh my god, how sick is that?" Oh my and then, god. And then they did they um, make you jump in the Zorb? I yeah, didn't know. Yeah. That, I, I didn't know what that thing was called, by the way. I just thought it was the big ball, but it, apparently yeah, it's the Zorb. I don't know. But then, then they had the halfway show, half half time break or whatever, and they're like, "Hey, CJ, can you jump into this Zorb?" And I was like, "You know, <laughs> in for a penny, in for a pound. Fuck it, let's go." <laughs> <laughs> there was one guy on the landing before they blew it up or before they brought it up, and he goes, "He, he goes, this is about where the hole is, like." He's standing on the landing and he's putting his hand where the hole is. So I had two practice jumps to try and aim at that, right? Mm. First jump, I went like two meters higher than his hand. I was mm. like, oh, that's not a good start. Because if you <laughs> land on top of the Zorb, oh my then God. you're finished. <laughs> yeah. And then, he, and, and then I, I was like, okay. Second attempt, I was like two meters underneath his hand. And I was like, okay. And then they're like, all right, uh, it's time for part two of the show. And so I had one, two attempts at a practice, but I went way too high and way too low. And then I got thrown straight into it and they like blew it up and they're like, okay, who wants to see CJ jump into this? Wow. I was like, oh my God. And then I did it. And then the, the hole's only about that big, right? Um, and I managed to get one leg in and <laughs> it was going so fast. My, I put one leg in and it just ripped me into the ball, like into the inside. So I managed to like get thrown into it and then i just rolled down the thing so no. said, whoa <laughs> you got so lucky i think when i saw Happy do it he didn't make it i think he, yeah, like, he's, he, he's not, he's, he said to me he goes if they make you do that just don't overshoot it because you'll bounce off the top and you'll get owned like you then you get double bounced another i don't know 10 12 feet wow way higher than that like 15 foot to flat or something yeah it's nuts yeah. <laughs> Damn, Happy just sent you into the lines, and he's like, yeah. "Oh, sure, dude, you're on." He's like, "By the way, if you jump into the Zorb, don't overshoot it. If you all this stuff up your then, part." Okay, so we, I, and then I that first time I learned how to do there and then because I did a little bit of practice on a kid's trampoline. I, tr I learned how to do double backs on a, on a kid's trampoline at where there's kids around. <laughs> that was my practice and 1260 corks, and I landed both of them like I, I'd never hucked it before. And then first time on a mega ramp, I did double back, double flat 180, landed it. And then my last trick, I was just like, I'm just going to send it. It was like 1260 corkscrew and landed it. And then I was actually like the, the, the feeling, the thrill was just like unbelievable. I just went like, fuck, like screamed in this incredible, yeah, amount of energy and just like, yeah. And then they, um, I, I won like the man of the match kind of thing. MVP. So they gave me the award for the most valuable person of the whole show. No That's way. That's like all like Travis Pastrana and all like the, all the motorbike dudes and everyone. And On they your gave first, me show? first show? Yeah. That's it. No way. Is it like a thing you get to take home or is it just like- Yeah, a, yeah, it was an extra night? two grand. No way. Oh, well, the trophy, yeah. That's so, tight. Damn. It was pretty sick. And then I did a little speech and I'm like, I'm standing around all my <laughs> idols, the most incredible, the most- crazy adrenaline junkie crazy crazy famous people and i just won this like it's an honor to be here thank you so much for this opportunity like for the from the rollerbader the, the one rollerbader there like yeah 
That's really so sick, crazy, man. Yeah, I'm about to say, man, you, you like must have race. a pretty cool trophy room, like you know, with with yeah. that and these other things. It must be a pretty colorful collection of well, that's different countries weird. and it's places and accolades. Knives and big hammers from <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. The big sledge. <laughs> oh, you got the sledgehammer, right? Yeah, I got the sledgehammer. I got like two. Or th- have I got two or three knives? I know I've got two knives two from Blake. Knives. They're just like. What the fuck are these? You know, how are you getting this back to Australia? You know? yeah. yeah, I always wondered that too about people winning these things. They're always like big hammers or, or knives or weapons. Like, how are you yeah. getting through TSA with yeah. that? The sledgehammer was, a, was such a joke, man. It was just yeah. sticking completely out of my like tiny little suitcase, and I just got this massive fucking sledgehammer. How'd you get through <laughs> with that? Like, what did they say, or what did you say? No, actually, it's it's underneath. I'm not carrying it on board. Yeah, so uh, it was alright. Uh, I just they so just go, "What the hell is this?" And I was like. <laughs> 